it can be a deadly problem for whales. If the marine mammals get trapped in fishing nets and lines, it can prevent them from breathing and feeding. In the past two months in BC, six whales have become entangled and had to be rescued. Global's Linda Ellsworth caught up with the man who's in charge of freeing the gentle giants of the ocean. All the tools of the trade. As the Marine Mammal Coordinator for the B.C. Coast, Paul Cottrell has many duties. Among them, whale disentanglement specialist. These are throwing grapples to grapple onto trailing gear so you're able to, to engage with the animal and get closer and, and, and tire the animal out. It's a growing problem. Whales, humpbacks in particular, becoming entangled in lines, often used by commercial prawn and crab fishermen. Six animals, one a week since June, have been reported so far. If we continue at this rate, it'll be a record year for, for whale entanglements in our area. Paul keeps his rescue gear in his vehicle at all times. He never knows when he'll get the next call. One recent distress call came from Cape Beale on Vancouver Island's west coast. We eventually were able to grapple onto this, uh, it was about 200 feet of line and floats and it took about seven to eight hours to be able to get close enough to slowly remove that gear. In Powell River, a particularly heartbreaking situation. We used the underwater camera to really get a good look at how it was configured and it was actually wrapped through the mouth three times uh, along to the tail around and then straight to the bottom. It was literally anchored to the bottom by the weight of the lines and the many traps at the end of them. We wanted to start from the mouth to free the mouth, those three cuts, knowing that we would still have uh, the animal anchored by the, the tail flute. It's not coming out. There's an art to knowing which lines to free first, cut the wrong ones and the animal gets away before the job is done. It's so important that when you get to these animals, not to just rush in and start cutting because that can be a life sentence for the animal if you cut the wrong rope. Of the six most recent humpbacks discovered in distress, two got away and have yet to be relocated. But four, including this one, were successfully rescued. The euphoria of making that last cut is, there's nothing like it. It's so amazing and, and seeing the animal that's exhausted, that burst of energy just to shoot off, it's just incredible. You know, it's the best part of my job. Linda Aylesworth, Global News.